Imagine that you're an indie game developer with a great idea for a mobile game. You've tested it and everything works great. And now you need to present your ideas to carry it out. But your demo is full of placeholders and they're not exactly attractive. You need some concept art to illustrate your idea and you need it right away. Hi, I'm Kate and I'm gonna show you how to get this look for an indie game in seconds. Let's go. Actually, this tutorial is based on real events. So we have this demo game. We have a description of each location, each character, and each element involved in the story. But we need illustrations to grab attention for, let's say, our crowdfunding, or more likely just to show the style we want to a fellow artist or animator. We already search for images, and they're really nice. But we need something more specific, so we had to free pick's image generator. We'll use our main character, a small anthropomorphic cat who is an explorer and dresses in a steampunk style. And let's try the illustration styles. The Art Nouveau style is very romantic and elegant. For a deck of cards, it would be great. Comic and fantasy styles are great for a cover, but I don't like it for the game art itself. Let's try the pixel art style. Wow, look at that. Isn't that just perfect? Now let's get to the rest of the characters. I'm gonna use some permutation prompts. So I get all the characters with just one prompt. A cat, a dog, duck, and rabbit. If you don't know the power of permutation prompts, check out the tutorial on our channel. I'll leave the link below. Now let's do some backgrounds. We need a town and a forest, both day and night. If you don't get them on the first try, try to be more specific. For example, in this case, I really need flat backgrounds with little or no perspective since my game is a 2D platform. And finally, some magic objects. Depending on the results, see if you need to add more details. And if you're not into pixel art, try a low poly look with an isometric perspective or even something more cartoonish. Once you have the library done, then you can let your imagination run wild for the cover. The illustration and fantasy styles will work great. And that's how you put together a professional document to present your idea for an indie game. You'll definitely attract everyone's attention. Comment below how FreePick can help you with your project. And remember to check out all the tutorials in our playlist. See you next time!